Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to look at placing windows into walls. So here I have a simple exterior of a building. Um, the important thing to note is that this is just the shell of the building. So if I delete this wall, I don't have the walls built as multiple surfaces, just uh, the outside face. That's real important as far as how we're going to put in uh, window components that will cut a hole in the wall. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with just a rectangle. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle on one of these walls. I can type in, I could arbitrarily pick a point, but I'm going to say I want it to be uh, 4 foot by 3 foot. That's going to be exactly a 4 foot by 3 foot rectangle. I'm not real worried about where it's placed right now. I'm just using this wall to draw the original initial component. Um, I'm going to pull that out. Maybe I'll pull it out an inch. Um, I'll come in here and do a quick offset. So let's say 3 inches and then I'll push this back in. Okay, so that's something like what my geometry is going to look like. Um, just to keep this easy to tell from the rest of the model, I'm going to just paint it. I'm going to make the whole thing brown and then maybe I'll make my uh, glass translucent. There we go. Alright, so now with that translucent glass too I can see inside the building so I can see that I'm actually seeing through all right, so now that I have that done, I'm going to grab that geometry. I'm going to right click on it and say make component. My make component information shows up here. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it something very original like window. I'm going to say glue to vertical surfaces. These, these windows generally go on walls. Walls are generally vertical, so I'm going to call that vertical. Um, component axis right now if I look in here is my lower left corner against the wall. That's really not a bad thing, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to change that to the middle of the window because I want my placement point to be the center of the window rather than the edge. A uh, very important option here is cut opening. So that's going to, when placed on the wall, see this, this gray plane right here, when it's placed onto a surface, it's going to cut through that surface. That's real important for a window, of course, because I want to be able to see into it rather than having it just pasted on the outside of a wall. Um, the other thing I have turned on here is replace selection with component. That means when I create this component, rather than this loose geometry I have right here, it's going to put an instance of that component onto my model. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on and hit create. All right, a couple things happen. One is my geometry went away and I now have a component right here. Two is this window also showed up in my component list. So what I can do now is I can click on my window in the component list and when I move my mouse onto the screen I'm dragging that window and I'm dragging that window by my placement point. So if I want to put this into a wall I just click on the wall and it puts it in and if I zoom in here to verify let's see yep there's my interior geometry. So that's all it takes to create a component that I can then place around and have cut into the walls. Thank you.